Now this is cycle one, the air inlet valve opens, as indicated, while the piston begins downstroke one. Water free air only is directed into the cylinder during this cycle. The said valve remains open until the downstroke one is completed, then shuts and remains shut until all four cycles are completed. It is known that the rapid compression of air in a cylinder can heat to a temperature that will explode oil, 500 degrees centigrade. To achieve this 500 degrees centigrade, pressure of 16 Earth atmospheres is required, hence the impossibility of creating water vapour this way, which at the said 16 atmospheres of pressure would require 1600 degrees to boil it. At one Earth atmosphere, water vaporises at 100 degrees centigrade. At half an Earth atmosphere, it vaporises at about 60 degrees centigrade. The lower the air pressure, the lower the boiling point. In a situation of no air pressure, a vacuum, water immediately becomes vapour. Uh, cycle 2, the upstroke, dry air is heated by quick compression during cycle 2, upstroke, and held in the hot air storage chamber by the electronically operated valve. Air compressed quickly in a cylinder from a density of 1 atmosphere to 16 atmospheres in 10 milliseconds creates an air temperature of 500 degrees centigrade. To instigate stroke 3 as a power stroke, it will be necessary to wire heat the air storage chamber. The 500 degrees centigrade compressed air in the chamber will be released upon the already vaporised water. The water storage chamber joined to the air chamber will be heated to 90 degrees centigrade to assure that it will vaporise when injected into a very low pressure area. At this stage, all valves are closed. Cycle 3, downstroke. At the beginning of downstroke, the air inlet, exhaust and hot air storage valves remain closed. At the same time as the vacuum is being created during the downstroke, water is simultaneously injected into the cylinder. As the water to create the vapour is being injected into the vacuum, an appropriate electric current will be directed into the water being injected. The objective being to alter the molecular structure of some of the injected water in order to create hydrogen which will ignite when the 500 degree air in the storage chamber is released upon it. Thus the extra force needed for the power stroke. Cycle 4, upstroke. When the fourth cycle is complete and the used vapour is beginning to contract, simple thermodynamics will condense it as it is piped away for reuse. By using this power principle, a diesel engine can be used. The camshaft of a conventional multi-cylinder diesel engine can be remade to change the timing to suit the system. The system is almost the same as a diesel engine for strokes one and two, during which the air is taken in and heated by rapid compression to 500 degrees centigrade. The diesel fuel is injected into it to create combustion. However, with this system, the 500 degrees centigrade air is stored after compression in a chamber in the cylinder head above the piston.